guys, I'm back. Um, I thought I would make hopefully a more um, positive video um, about um, things you can do with the reborn hobby when you are in quarantine. Okay, so and we're not all like really technically in quarantine because I think quarantine is if you have the illness and you know, you're quarantining yourself so you don't pass it to others. But the truth is a lot of us don't really know if we have the illness or not, uh, the coronavirus, um, because it can take a long time for the symptoms to manifest, like up to a couple of weeks upon after you're exposed to it. So, um, and some people don't even manifest symptoms. So you don't actually know if you have it. That's kind of why across the country we are all, you know, quarantining ourselves essentially and trying to practice social distancing and not seeing people for a few weeks. Um, so, but I thought I would kind of make a, a maybe a, a hopefully more lighthearted video around um, what we can do with the hobby when you're in quarantine. I have here my Mia. She is my Ella by Jenny Lee, and um, she is. Um, um, I'm going to change her into this really really cute kind of a fun bright colorful outfit. There's a diaper cover and this cute little top um, by Tuk Tuk is the brand. I'm going to change her. And I guess the first very obvious thing is if you are on YouTube, you can make YouTube videos. <laughs> um, I make all my videos at home. Um, so now that I'm home more, I have more time to make videos. Um, so that's great. So that's the first thing you can do. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, hey, why not start one? Um, because now we all have a little extra time, at least at home. Um, and that's definitely one fun thing you can do. Um, the other thing you can also be doing, of course, while you are at home in quarantine, is watching and catching up on other people's YouTube videos. So that is something I'm looking forward to hopefully getting a chance to do a little bit more um, because I've been so busy and I am still so busy at work, although things are a little bit slowed down this week just because everyone is trying to figure out how to um, react and regroup given this um, global pandemic. Um, so, you know, one thing, um, I would like to try to do is, you know, just catch up a little bit on other people's videos. So, um, like a lot of you, I've been, um, consumed with coronavirus news, but every so often it's nice to just watch something that maybe is not related to the coronavirus. And, um, and so, oh my gosh, she, this is so cute on her. I love it. Um, so yes, I do recommend, um, uh, just what, catching up on YouTube videos. Third is Facebook. So if you have, um, if you know, if you're on Facebook and you're not already part of these doll communities on Facebook, I would highly recommend doing some research on different reborn and silicone groups. Um, if you're going to the Rose Doll Show, join the Rose Doll Show public group. Um, oh my gosh, this is adorable on her. I don't think she's ever worn this before. Oh, look at this sweet girl. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this baby. You know, I, I got, so I got her, what was it? Two years ago. Um, I just, I just adore her. I still love her <laughs> as much as the day I got her. So, um, so yes, yeah, so you, you can, um, catch up and like join Facebook, um, catch up on your friends posts, share pictures of your babies, just enjoy the hobby. There's also doll fan, um, which is if those aren't familiar with it, it's um, doll-fan.com. It's a $20 membership to join for the year, but and, and it's a little bit less active these days, but that's another place that you can read up about dolls and just kind of immerse yourself in the hobby. The other thing um, that you can also do, of course, is just the standard, you know, change, change a baby, pick a baby up, cuddle one, and you know, we're all probably watching a lot more um, movies and TV these days, and so just pick one up and cuddle on the couch and watch your favorite show or your favorite movie, um, and just enjoy holding your babies and just enjoy your collection. Um, the other thing that, you know, if you are a reborn artist, um, that you can obviously get a lot of painting done. I think sometimes, um, you know, life gets busy and we don't get to get a chance to paint as much. But I think um, given everything that's going on, you know, yeah, we, we all are home a bit more and you can use that time to, to paint and work on those custom orders or just paint a baby for fun. Um, so I would definitely encourage that. And also if you um, are not an artist and maybe you would like to learn and pick this hobby up, um, there are some great resources out there. There are so many tutorials. Um, uh, the, the, there's um, 
Sue Ellen Tarmina. She has one called Live Effects, which I have I have not had a chance to go through her tutorials, but that could be something I could maybe do. Um, and then Reborn A to Z course, I also very much highly recommend. Um, that was the course that taught me how to paint. And you can order, you can still order kits and supplies. You know, if you guys need um, Bountiful Baby kits, um, and if there are any that are like out of stock that you're looking for, just send me a message um, to my email, littlefootnursery1 at gmail.com. And, um, and um, you know, I'm happy to, you know, um, see if I have that kit and can sell it to you. So I have like a hundred plus kits in my garage, no kidding. And I cannot paint them all. So I've really slowed down on buying kits because I just have way too many, <laughs> more than I can paint. And you can still order paints and you know, all that stuff can be delivered to you online. You don't need to go to a store physically. So, um, you know, just, yeah, make the best of it and maybe pick up and learn how to paint while, while you're at it. Um, the other thing that I think is always still fun to do, you can online shop, look at Ashton Drake's website, um, Paradise Gallery's website, and see the new babies that they might have out. It's always fun to just look at dolls. Hey, and maybe treat yourself to one if you're so inclined. Because um, a lot of us are cutting back on our entertainment budget. So, you know, of course, you, you need to make sure you have all your basics um, for food and healthcare and things like that covered. But if you have some discretionary income left, you know, you can treat yourself to a new baby. We are still able to buy buy dolls and buying and selling of dolls is still happening. Um, I think getting to the post office is a little bit trickier now because some communities are really encouraging people not to go unless it's like absolutely critical. So I would just say, please have some patience with the sellers that you're working with if there are delays in shipping your babies out. Um, so I'm trying to think if there are any other ideas that I have. Those are really the main ones that come to mind. Um, but there's so much with regards to our hobby um, that can just be enjoyed at home. Oh, sorry, one more thing I thought of is it, this is a good time to do some cleaning. And so just going through your um, all your baby clothes, you know, just getting yourself organized. Um, I have a lot of Paradise Galleries dolls that I'm going to want to sell. Maybe not right this second because it's not recommended to really go out in public spaces for a while, but, um, but yeah, I, I do, I, I do want to, um, uh, get, you know, sell some babies here at some point. So just wanted to kind of let you know and, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so that is, um, that is another thing that you can do is just really think through, you know, downsizing, you know, go through your own closet and clean out your closet. It's a good time to do things like that where you need to kind of be at home. Um, so, all right, guys, those are just some of some ideas I have. You know, if you have other ideas of things we can do in the hobby while we're all kind of practicing social isolation and staying at home, please leave your thoughts below. And um, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.